I'll say firstly as well, because you know, we, I, we do always joke and have a little bit of tongue in cheek thing. You know, that was a very dangerous tackle. The bloke yeah. was lucky. It, you know, it was a complete, a complete, you know, f up in, in every every area. The one thing that concerns me with all these things is, is you genuinely telling me that Owen Farrell decided on his own volition to run out of the line, take some kid head off, get a red card for what reason? So when everybody throws these sentences out or people tweet things just to get more followers just to get into a dialogue i have made lots of mistakes i mistake make mistakes every day everybody does rugby as a game or any sport would not flow without errors being made let's understand there is a big difference between someone elbowing someone in the face coming over the right head and someone getting a tackle badly wrong there is no doubt he needs to work on his technique. You know, he plays on the edge. And as I said, the edge has won us games. The edge has cost him a lot of penalties. As a 10, you know, one, one of the hardest things I, I've always said is tackle technique is, is very hard and very difficult to, to nail because it takes a lot to dive at someone's knees. That's why I always had such admiration for a, a Joe Worsley or, a, or, or, you know, a Lewis Mead or whoever it was because they used to take people out, out of the knees. Yes, there's got to be some adjustment. And in this modern game, in the, in the way it's refereed for safety reasons, else, you can't afford that. And the margin for error going above the, the, the stern and upwards is a very risky play. I was playing now, I would go for the legs. I got it wrong. I took Jamie Roberts' head off. They're still trying to find yeah. it down the A16 in, in Richmond. Albeit the fact that Jamie Roberts' head and chin are so big, it's difficult not yeah. to miss it. Yeah. I just think that people who get criticised and come at people like Owen, it's, it's such a personal attack. And I think you need to have a long, hard look at yourself. And it's also, just as I said with the injury stuff, people piping up going... Well, I, I've never been injured. And, oh, when you, you know, the game's gone mad. Everyone's so much bigger. That's why your body's erect. It's like, no, that's not why it's gone wrong. Stop fucking pointing fingers. And, fa- and, and journalists just saying it so everyone go, but also coming at him as a personal attack. Mm. I know Owen intimately. He's mortified about doing that. Mm. And he would be very disappointed in himself. You're telling me that he did that so he, doesn't, so he can't play for England or he's going to let himself down and open himself up to criticism. It's app. So bollocks. Let's say that people who follow Good Bad Rugby, we don't entertain this bullshit because we've got a lot of followers. I mean, I know someone else said that they've got the biggest download rugby podcast in the world. You haven't. You're talking <laughs> shit. We have. But lads, just listen. I love all these players. I'm not on a personal, uh, uh, all these commentators and people. I'm not on a personal attack. But let's see our, let's keep our side of the street clean. Let's cut out this, this personal attacks. Let's go, oh, that was bad. Let's see what happens. Especially someone like Owen, who clearly plays his heart on his sleeve and would never want to get a red card and certainly wouldn't want to kill a young academy lad and and risk his health.